On February 15th, the City of Anoka and the Minnesota Department of Transportation held an open house for all community members as a chance to update and inform the community in person about the Highway 10 construction project and what they can expect in 2023 as the project continues in March. I caught up with Kent Barner from the Department of Transportation to learn more about what road closures the city can expect this year. It's been excellent. We've had some really good turnout, a lot of people here, a lot of good questions. People obviously want to know how they're going to get around during the construction. So we've been telling people to please sign up for our email alerts, updates, and check out the website. We'll be keeping that up to date with what's going on. And then we also send out uh, other information during the year. We're on QCTV, obviously, and so we encourage people to watch that too. I would say probably one of the biggest traffic impacts is going to be the Ferry Street closure and the, the closures of the ramps at Ferry Street for various time periods. Uh, some of the detours will take you a ways out of the way, but it will be safer for people. And one thing we'd like to really encourage people this year is to stay out of the neighborhoods. Uh, the citizens there, we got complaints last year about people going through the neighborhood, speeding, uh, higher volume of traffic and you wouldn't want them going through your neighborhood, so don't go through theirs. We are hoping that construction starts sometime in March for us, but of course, Mother Nature is gonna determine that for us. And then it all depends upon how quickly we can get various phases of the project done. Reconstruction of the eastbound Rum River Bridge and reconstruction at Thurston and Fair Oak also. Uh, there'll be some other work at Highway 47, Ferry Street, because we're taking that bridge completely out and so there will be no cross traffic there. And uh, then there'll be some other work on some other parts of the project for the year. I, I'd love it if we got finished before our completion date for this year. The, the important thing for people to remember that this is basically the last major uh, full year of construction for the Highway 10 project. And next year there will be some finishing work, kind of what we call punch list items but there won't be the traffic restrictions next year.